chemical reaction and equation. In this chapter, we will discuss science behind certain day-to-day -day life examples. We will learn about chemical changes and its representation on paper. Here are the topics which we are going to learn in this chapter. First, we will be introduced to chemical reaction. Then, we will see some daily life examples of chemical reaction. Also, we will know how to write a chemical equation and balance it. We will discuss types of chemical reaction. After that, we will learn about oxidation and reduction reaction. So let's begin with the chapter. A chemical reaction is the process that represents any chemical change. A chemical change is the process by which new substances are formed from given substances. Substances combine chemically among them. Here are some day-to-day -day examples of chemical reactions. Rusting of iron, curd formation, burning of matchstick. There are certain indicators which indicate that a chemical reaction has taken place. First is change in physical state. It means that there is a change in physical state of the substances reacting with each other. The product formed may differ in the physical state compared to the reactant. Next is change in temperature. The temperature may change when chemical reaction take place. It may increase a decrease change in color in other indicator. The color of product form may different from the color of reactant. In rusting of iron, color of iron changes to reddish brown. The reaction can also be indicated as evolution of gas. A gas is evolved as a product of certain reactions. The presence of gas can be deducted by its smell, bubble formation or certain type of chemical changes. A chemical equation is the symbolic representation of any chemical reaction taking place. A skeletal chemical equation is a chemical equation giving a rough idea of the chemical reaction. It consists of chemical symbols of each substances reacting and formed. Reactant are the substances reacting are symbolized in left hand side. Products are substances formed after reaction symbolized in right hand side of the equation. Now we will understand how to write a chemical equation of a chemical reaction. Here is a chemical reaction taking place. Magnesium is burning in presence of oxygen and gives a white powder named magnesium oxide. Let's understand how to write a proper chemical equation for this process. First, we write the skeletal equation for the reaction. As we know, Mg is the symbol of magnesium and O2 is a symbol of oxygen gas. Both of them are reactant. The product of the reaction is magnesium oxide, MgO, a white powder. So this is a skeletal equation. But this is not a proper way to write a chemical equation. By conservation of mass, the number of atoms of each element participating in reaction should be equal in both reactant and product side. But as you can see, the number of oxygen atom is not same in both side. If we put coefficient 2 to magnesium oxide, the number of oxygen atom is same, that is 2 in both sides. But magnesium is unbalanced in this process. It is 2 in reactant side and 1 in product side. 
If we put coefficient 2 to Ng in LHS, we can see both atoms. Magnesium and oxygen are balanced. In a chemical equation, information regarding physical state is also added. Generally, in order to balance a chemical equation, we need to start with atoms maximum in number. Remember, balancing equation means balancing number of atoms. We use S for solid, L for liquid, G for gas, AQ for aqueous to indicate the physical state. Sometimes, to make a chemical equation more informative, we need to add some information regarding the chemical process like catalyst required, presence of any important factor regarding the reaction. Here, in photosynthesis, the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is required which has been mentioned here in the equation. Coming to types of reaction, here we have to study four types of chemical reaction. They are combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Also on basis of energy, reactions are categorized into two types, exothermic and endothermic reaction. Let's discuss about all of them. In combination reaction, two or more substances combine and form a new substance. For example, quicklime, which is a calcium oxide, is reacting with water to give calcium hydroxide, which is known as slaked lime. We can write proper balanced equation of for the process. The beaker in which the reaction is taking place has become hot. Thus a change in temperature here indicates the chemical reaction. The reaction in which a substance decomposes into two or more substances is known as decomposition reaction. When decomposition takes place in presence of heat, it is known as thermal decomposition reaction. There are three types of decomposition reaction we have to study. First one is thermal decomposition. Ferrous sulfate decomposes in ferric sulfate. Sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Here we have a balanced chemical equation. 2FeSO4 when heated gives Fe2O3 and releases gas SO3G plus SO2G. The reaction is signified by presence of sulfur dioxide. Its presence can be felt by very bad smell. That is the smell like rotten apple. The decomposition done by passing electricity is known as electrolytic reaction. The water is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Sunlight decomposition is decomposition reaction taking place in presence of sunlight. Silver chloride is decomposed into silver metal and chlorine gas. Here is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. 2AgCl solid in presence of sunlight gives 2Ag solid and Cl2 gas is released. The white color of the silver chloride turns gray due to formation of silver metal. This reaction is used in white and black photography. In displacement reaction, as the name suggests, one element displaces another from its chemical compound. Iron reacts with copper sulfate solution. New substances 
iron sulfate is formed. Here is the chemical equation for the reaction. Fe solid plus CuSO4 aqueous will change into FeSO4 aqueous plus Cu solid. A brown layer of copper formed over iron nail. It is the copper metal displaced from CuSO4. The displacement takes twice in double displacement reaction. Exchange of ions between the reactant takes place. Sodium sulfate aqua solution react with barium chloride solution, form sodium chloride solution and insoluble salt barium sulfate. Here is the equation for the reaction. Na2SO4 aqueous plus BACL2 aqueous will change BASO4 solid plus 2NaCl aqueous. The insoluble compound formed after reaction is known as precipitate. In this reaction, BASO4 is not soluble in water. In equation, it has been represented as solid. The soluble NaCl is indicated by AQ. Thus, the reaction is signified by formation of an insoluble compound. There is change in color of solution. It turns white due to presence of insoluble white barium sulfate. Exothermic reactions in this reaction, energy is released in the form of heat. Combustion reactions are good example of exothermic reaction. Burning of petrol to run vehicle is an example of exothermic reaction. The energy obtained from the reaction is used to run the vehicle. Combustion of methane is example of exothermic reaction. Combination reactions are generally exothermic reaction. The energy is observed in endothermic reaction. Photosynthesis is the example of endothermic reaction. Respiration at the same time is the example of exothermic reaction. Decomposition reactions are endothermic as energy is required to decompose. Let's understand redox reaction. In such reactions, the process of oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously. Oxidation reactions are reaction in which oxygen is added or hydrogen is removed. In reduction reaction, oxygen is removed and hydrogen is added. Here is an example of redox reaction. Copper oxide is reacting with hydrogen gas and form copper metal and hydrogen oxide. Here is the chemical equation of the reaction. CuO plus H2 gas which keeps Cu and H2O. Copper oxide has been reduced to copper. This process is called reduction. Hydrogen gas has been oxidized to water. This process is called oxidation. Hydrogen is here reducing agent as it has reduced copper oxide. Copper oxide is oxidizing agent as it has oxidized hydrogen gas. Have you seen a brown layer over iron metal? Well, that's a result of oxidation reaction. Rust formation is an unwanted chemical process. Iron is oxidized in the presence of moisture and air. You might have observed 
the food getting contaminated when kept in open. This is because fats and oils present in food are oxidized. When fats and oils are oxidized, they become rancid and their smell and taste change. Such foods are no longer good for consumption. To prevent food from getting rancid, antioxidants are added. Another method is keeping food in a cool storage like refrigerator. So guys, that's all for chemical reaction. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.